great recipes start with Odlums. Proud sponsors of Catherine Layden on Ireland AM. <laughs> now the countdown is well and truly on with only four weeks left until Christmas. It's time to be thinking of Beacon here to kick off her festive baking series, the one and only Catherine Layden. And you'll see that Holly Carpenter's joined us this morning. And we're going to be chatting to Holly about a very special uh, cause that she's doing in a few moments' time. But first, Catherine, let's get going. The Christmas cake. Let's get cake. started. Now, exactly. I was saying earlier on, is this going to be very difficult? No. You're saying, no, it's a cinch. It's a cinch. Now, what I've done, Alan, we use 175 grams, six ounces of butter or margarine. And it must be at room temperature. Right. Now, that was a little on the cold side this morning. So if your butter isn't quite soft enough, give it an old beat as I did there before you add the sugar. Warm okay? it up. Give it an old beat, as the fellow says. Now, light Muscovado sugar I'm using. You could use the dark Muscovado, but I like a lighter coloured cake, OK? So now just cream the butter and sugar together. And Holly might just beat up the eggs there for me. Are you beating up the eggs? Yeah. Just give them a little blend. Thanks, Holly. Now, cream the butter and sugar together. While, while you're stopped that, then you carry on there, Catherine. We I'll just be chat the eggs to Holly. Minute, yeah. um, while she's beating the um, eggs, yeah. she can tell us about Holly. It's the Holly Bake campaign with the ISPCC. Yeah, so basically, we're encouraging people to have their own little Holly Bake sale um, to raise funds for Childline and the ISPCC. And I just really, I've done a bit of, a bit of work Thanks, before Sophie. with Childline, no worries. And um, it's the only 24 hour service for children. And at Christmas, they're expected to get one call a minute from a child. Wow, wow. that's incredible. So when I heard that, and Christmas for me has always been such a happy time, especially when I was a kid, I can never imagine having to ring a service like Childline. I'm mm. lucky enough to say that. So. They have to do everything they can to be able to make sure these calls go answered and that the calls can come through. So Christmas bake sale. So yeah. like, like um, so we wait for Pat to do her beat our eggs. Beat me eggs. eggs in there. I'm just beating um, in the two eggs, and if the butter are marge and the eggs are at room temperature, the mixture will not curdle. Right. And if it if it is inclined to curdle, you could add a tablespoonful or two of sugar, or not sugar, of the flour to it. Okay. Okay. So now. So that's that. That's that done. Now here I have the flour. I've put in there some mixed spice and some um, nutmeg. So I'm just going to... So now you could stir this in, Alan, but to be honest, we get it done a bit quicker if we just give this... Just give it I know a, you don't like, whisk. I know you don't like the noise, but it does help just to give it a whisk to get that in. And now finally, we're going to add the remaining ingredients. Oh. And they are the about two and a quarter pounds of fruit. Now you can use sultanas, raisins, yeah, and Yeah, like I'm a, we, a we do this every year. Then what? What's your favourite? Because there's something. I love like... the cranberries in. I love the cranberry raisins. Oh yeah, mix. I like the cranberries in it as I well. I love that mix. Yep. Yeah. So now, wonderful. So the, it's the cranberry raisins it's a combination. and sultana yeah. mix. Right. Here we have a packet of chopped almonds. Do you have so to put the almonds in? You can leave them out. Yeah, like. I prefer the almonds out. Would you? Yeah. Right. Some ground almonds. Do you like the almonds? I like a bit of crunch. Oh, yeah, yeah. So do I. Yeah. In fact, sometimes you could also add some walnuts if you wished. Now you just add a small tub, and I'm just putting half this tub of cherries and candied peel in. And so now, everything just whatever you, whatever takes your fancy, basically. Basically, that's what it. is in. Yeah. Now, Holly, just going back to you. So basically, you're you're asking people to have a a Christmas bake sale. Exactly. Yeah. You can go on to um, ispcc.ie and they'll send you out a pack, and you'll get you know all the information and some bunting to put up and everything like that. So it's really cute, and it's kind of a nice way to spend time with the kids and the family and everything yeah. too. You know, simple things, even just like rice krispie cakes and all of that. So. So ispcc.ie. Yeah. All the information is exactly. on there. Try and get a bit of a, a Christmas bake sale going and raise money for for ISPCC. ISPCC it's line, incredible that um, they're expecting a call a minute over Christmas, Shocking, which is isn't terrible. It? Very sad. And I know, yeah. I know that people say to me that uh, the the heartbreaking thing for them is the call that can't be answered. Exactly. And so it's always the that's thing. That's what they're yeah, trying to do. Uh, I think last Christmas Day they got 1,200 calls during yeah. the day. So it's just making sure that like. Exactly. Answered, like you said, yes, yeah. Yes. Okay. okay, well, ISPCC.ie, all the information. You just continue there. mixing that, and the, the trick is, of course, get everybody in the family to give a mix and make a wish, okay? Oh, is that the tradition? That's the tradition. The reason for that, make a wish, but the tradition that, for that is simply to get the, all the ingredients mixed together. Right. Then you transfer it to the prepared tin, which we have here, mm -hmm. line, double lined with baking parchment and the base line. That is so important that you Very do the important, baking parchment. Very important, exactly. Now, just to tell you what you do when your cake is baked, Alan. Now, by the way, you bake it at for about three, three and a half hours. That's why we're not going to bake that How today. How do you know it's ready? You'll know if you tap it and it's solid. But you also put a knife or a skewer into it if it comes out clean. Now, just to say, if you have a fan oven, 
I prefer to give a longer bake at a lower temperature. So I bake that at about 120 for three to three and a half hours. But check it after that because a lot of fan right. ovens nowadays are working much quicker. When it bakes, let it go completely cold. Right? right. There's the cold one. Mm -hmm. Then onto that, pour oh. there's a bit of your own. Yeah. Oh, my God, that's okay. not only a bit. That <laughs> is a bit. Just to soak right down through the whole cake. Yeah, I suppose. Now, you let that soak. And now here we have the cake. That's, okay. That has been soaking overnight, right? So now, to store the cake before decorating, you just keep the lining paper attached to the cake, Alan. Yeah. And this is important, so you have a nice moist cake for decorating in about two weeks' time. And then just wrap it in fresh greaseproof paper. So you just wrap it. Then where would you where would you leave that Store in? Store in a cool, dry place. Cool, dry place. Not in the kitchen, and that's important for your plum pudding as well. Not in the kitchen when the temperature is fluctuating. Okay. Right. That's okay. A bit noisy, isn't it? And then, so you're going to come back in two weeks' time with the same cake. Correct. And we're going to decorate, going to decorate it. Decorate it exactly. So you're going Greaseproof to put a paper in tin foil. Tin foil in that's a dry true. in a dry cupboard somewhere for yep. two weeks. So you work away there. That's mm -hmm. exactly how you do it. And That's Catherine will be done. bringing back these exact cakes in two weeks to decorate them. Exactly. Thank you, Holly, Thanks and good luck much. with the, with the that, campaign. Thanks Thanks for the now, still to come this morning while Catherine... <laughs> Makes noise. <laughs> Makes noise. Yeah. Performing noise live, the <laughs> we have Tommy Fleming and plus the top toys ideas for Christmas. So stay with us. Great recipes start with Odlums. Proud sponsors of Catherine Layden on Ireland AM.